by the time I was six, I'd already made an important discovery that I get along much better with animals than with humans. When I was 12, I began to sketch the libretto for an opera, which would declare my affinity in no uncertain terms. It was going to be about the self-destruction of the human race. It involved the takeover of the planet by species of morally enlightened frogs, fish, and associated reptiles. What I had in mind, I think, was a sort of, um, well, if the ghost of Richard Strauss will pardon the pun, a sort of aquatic toad and for clown. Sorry about that. There was, however, to be one human character on stage. The part was conceived for a voice soprano, and I'll give you one guess as to who is to get it. Anyway, the opera did not get finished, didn't even get produced, which was perhaps just as well, because the casting problems would probably have been insuperable. Some years later, I was taking a walk along a country road one evening, and as I passed a field in which about three or four dozen cows were grazing, I happened to be singing to myself a song by Mahler. Oddly enough, it was the song called St. Anthony's Sermon to the Fishes. And as I walked along, I glanced at the cows, and I noticed that they, in turn, were glancing at me. So I stepped up the volume just a bit, and with that, the entire herd converged on the nearest fence. And it was an extraordinarily touching occasion. I really felt that a very special bond had been established. Certainly, I've never encountered so attentive an audience before. In any event, I have no idea whether such repertoire has any appeal for elephants, but I am here to find out. So, <clears throat> see. Antonia Surfrading, we hear Sheriff in trading, a cake suiting fishin' and trading, cake fishin', see short with French fencing, im sun and shine glancing, im sun and shine, sun and shine glancing, see glancing, see glancing. You've messed up the words. Perhaps something is a slower tempo. <laughs>